My 31-year-old daughter, Sarah, is completely out of control. Sarah needs to grow up and act like an adult. I see her on an emotional roller coaster. Sarah is selfish, self-centered, self-destructive. When Sarah was 19, she got pregnant and had a little girl. About a year later, Sarah got pregnant again with a different boyfriend and had a little boy. It was overwhelming having two children because I was a child myself. It was definitely a lot to handle, so I moved back in with my parents. Sarah paid a lot of attention to her daughter. Sarah constantly yelled and berated our grandson. I came home from work one day and found that my grandson was gone. Sarah sent her eight-month-old son to live with his father. Then Sarah moved out and was raising her daughter on her own. I raised my daughter by myself until she was about six years old. Sarah was not a good mother. In my view, Sarah was more interested in hanging with her friends than being a mother. I was very stressed and didn't feel like I could handle being a mom. We offered to help Sarah with parenting classes and she refused. What she did was ask me to finish raising her daughter. Without hesitation, we got full legal custody and brought our granddaughter home to live with us. We raised our granddaughter for about two years. We felt our granddaughter should be with her baby brother. I was very happy to know that my daughter and son were together and being raised together. Now her daughter's 12 years old and her son is 10. Sarah occasionally speaks with her daughter and acts like her son just doesn't even exist. The mother in me wants to know why she has no emotional connection with her children. What mother just abandons her children? How can a mother just not care? Well, so Sarah was overwhelmed, and so now she's free from any parenting responsibility, so how does she spend her time? Well, Tracy and Brett said she's actually partying a lot and living a girl's gone wild lifestyle, not befitting a mother and doing nothing to get back to where she needs to be. Ever since Sarah's children have been out of her life, Sarah's life has just spiraled out of control. Sarah acts like an 18-year-old on spring break that never ends. I would work during the day and then get off work and go straight to the bars. We felt like it would all catch up with her, and it has. About eight months ago, I got a call that Sarah had rear-ended a car at a stoplight. My blood alcohol was twice the legal limit. I was arrested, then taken to jail. My life was very messy. I definitely needed help. My parents offered to help me by me moving back into their house. We allowed her to move back in if she would live by our rules. We drew up a contract. I agreed to not drink, to not go to the bars. I agreed to having my phone tracked. She had a curfew at 9 p.m. on weekdays and 11 p.m. on the weekend. She's broken all the rules. She still drinks. She still goes to bars. Three or four weeks ago, she had to be picked up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Very, very inebriated. Sarah's uh, mooch and doesn't contribute anything. In Sarah's eyes, she doesn't believe she has any issues and there's nothing wrong. In my contract, it says that I'm supposed to reach out to my family if I need them. So that's what I did. And you feel like you're being punished for reaching out. I'm at the end of my rope. Enough is enough.